This is Mungo Dark Matter and welcome to Dark Matters. Today on Dark Matters I'm going to show you how to capture a still image out of a video file. I'm going to show you how to do it with two different programs. One is Sony Vegas uh, video editor and the other is Microsoft Windows Movie Maker. If you have a different piece of video editing software uh, the steps and the considerations should be pretty similar so you may be able to figure out how to do it with your own software more easily by watching this video. Sony uh, Vegas is a commercial piece of software that costs money but if you go to the Sony site you can download a 30-day demo and try it out. Microsoft Windows Movie Maker is available for free for anyone who uses Win Microsoft Windows and I'll put the links to both of those sites in the description of this video below. Alright I'm gonna start out with Sony Vegas and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the uh, video that I want to uh, capture the frame out of Now, with most video editing software, you can contract or expand the um, timeline uh, so that uh, it shows the, the time in bigger increments or smaller increments. Uh, and the advantage to changing this when you're doing a uh, capture of a particular frame is you can find the frame more easily if you expand the timeline a little bit. So for instance here my mouth is open in this picture so I might want a, a frame where my mouth is not open and so I can uh, click until I find the video where my mouth is closed and I have the correct expression perhaps or uh, any other number of things. So let's find the exact frame that I want. By default, the preview window in Sony Vegas will be set to Draft Auto, which is a low quality that makes it easier for uh, Vegas to render out a quick uh, preview of what you've edited in film. When you do a snapshot of a frame, however, you want to change the quality to best and to full. And this will give you uh, the full size picture and the uh, full resolution of the image when you do the snapshot. The next step is now that you've selected the frame and changed the preview resolution, is to click on this little disk right here to save the snapshot to. Uh, your hard drive and I'm gonna name this Mungo one now if I go to my pictures folder you'll see I have Mungo one here and I can open it with paint or any other program I wanted and, and there's my picture alright now I'm gonna show you how to do this in uh, Windows Movie Maker first thing I need first thing I need to do is close out of this all right this is Windows Movie Maker right here now the first thing I need to do is add a video and I'm gonna go and find my video again and I'm gonna select it and go open now down in the lower right corner there's this uh, little bar right here and if I move this back and forth it expands and contracts the timeline just as we did in Sony Vegas. Now I'm, I'm going to pick a video
and uh, say I pick that frame. The next thing is it's only going to um, capture the resolution of the preview so you actually have to pull the preview and expand it as much as you can. Unfortunately you can't really expand it much more than that right there. So the quality isn't going to be as high as it was with Sony Vegas and probably other uh, commercial uh, uh, video editors uh, but it's probably good enough like if you're just doing a thumbnail for YouTube uh, the other thing is it's kind of letterboxed as we'll see in a second there's this black line above it and below it well let's go up here and click on the snapshot icon and we're going to name this Mungo 2 if we go down here to our uh, pictures folder you'll see the thumbnail shows the uh, black line above and below the picture and if we go here and we go to open it with uh, paint you'll see that remains there so you'll have to edit that out if you want to use this as a thumbnail uh, because you can't really change the format in uh, Windows Movie Maker it's a free video editor but it's pretty basic so that's one thing to keep in mind what you could do however is you could go in and uh, cut out the uh, region that you want create a new uh, image and then paste it in and then you'll have an edited down version without the top and the bottom and it should be the correct format then if you were using this for a thumbnail you could put you know lettering on here or whatever you wanted to add to it to make it your custom thumbnail I'm Mungo Dark Matter and this has been Dark Matters and whatever you do enjoy technology